Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about our shapes element. With the shapes element, you can add fun and colorful shapes to your website to give it that extra bit of flair. You can use these shapes to customize the web pages as you see fit, and it allows you to choose from one of our preset shapes or one of the shapes that is customized to your theme. So, we can begin by going to the add section of the sidebar, and if we scroll down, you'll see we have shapes here. So if I click on that, you can see that we have preset and theme here for box, and that will change preset and theme just for that single shape. So for box, if I choose theme, it'll change it just to theme boxes, which fit the theme of our website. If I go down to circle, you'll see that I have presets and I can choose theme, and it's the same deal here. So what I'm going to be doing using these shapes is customizing one of these boxes here to make it a little bit more fancy and to fit our website colors of pink a little bit better. So what I can do now is just go ahead and delete some of the elements of this whole box here that I'm going to be replacing with the shapes. So I'll do that now. Now I have a blank canvas that I can start customizing. So I'll do that now. If I go to the add section and then say I wanted to choose a box, I could go to theme and then I could choose one of these boxes. So how about I choose this box here? And you can see I have that. So I'll just click and place that there. And you can see that it places it in front of everything else, so I need to change the layer. So I can click on it and go up here to the change layer button. And then I can just drag it to the back. And then I can customize the side just to make it a little bit bigger. And we're just gonna keep adding shapes to customize the look of this. So I can add this pink box here. And how about I bring this down? And I'll just bring this over there. And how about I throw this button on the end there? That's looking better already. I could bring our story, the text here. How about I bring that behind the pink box? And then I can go to layers and I can just move that there. You can see that we have the our story text now on top of the pink box. And we'll just customize the text and give it a white color. There we go. And then now we can just move down this image. And then let's go back here. And let's add a preset. And how about we add this to the top. There, now we've created our own box for the R story icon here. So we can do that for anything on our page. We can use shapes to create fun, fancy shapes that will give our page a little bit of extra flair. You can see that I easily, in just a few minutes, created a whole new box here that fits our theme better. So the last thing I can do is go ahead and change the color of this because using these shapes, you also have customization available to you. So I can click on it and over here in the panel box, I can choose change design and that will change the design of this shape that I selected. And then I can go to style and I can change the different colors, borders and shadowing elements of this shape. So I'll go to background and instead of black, how about we choose a more pink and let's try to make it match the header section up here. There we go, and I'll choose use color. And I can go to the border, and we can change the width of the border as well. We can also round the corners. So I'll keep them a little bit rounded. We can also add a shadow to it, which I won't do right now. So I'll go back, and how about we change this pink box here that we added as well to look more like this pink. So again, I can click on it and go to style, and then background, and then we can choose this pink. And there you have it. Now we've customized those shapes even more to make them fit with our theme. And that was just a basic overview of the shapes tool. You can use these to customize your website however you see fit. I'm sure you all will come up with some fantastic creations to give your website that it factor. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact us or check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching.